Well, howdy, folks. How the hell y'all doing? Yeah, I'll talk to y'all about something real quick. This world is going straight to hell. Alright? And I know why. It didn't take me long to figure it out. All these participation trophies they are giving out to kids now is ruining this damn country. Alright? It is. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Get a kid that don't really work hard and then he gets a damn trophy. Uh, or you get a kid that does work hard, but they don't work as hard as the other kid that also is doing their best. So both of them gets the trophy. So you don't have no disappointment there. You know, that's kind of the idea behind it. Don't want nobody to feel bad. Feel like they're not good enough. Don't want them to have any disappointment. All right, well, what's wrong with that? Get a kid that, you know, don't have any disappointment whenever he does, you know, say get older and start dating. Maybe say as a boy, he grows up, you know, a little bit. Teenage, get dating, then falls in love. And, you know, gets his first special taco, I guess you could say. And then all of a sudden, a few months goes by, and then the girl breaks up with the boy, and he ain't never had no disappointment in his life. Now he's got one of the biggest disappointments they are. He don't know how to take it. So what does he do? He starts screaming and hollering and throwing a fit, breaking stuff in the house, uh, flipping over damn TVs or knocking holes in the wall or going outside and damn beating the hell out of your car. You know, just flip the freak out and just go crazy. Or starts damn trying to cut himself, trying to eat damn handful of PMs or uh, Benadryl or something or maybe uh, the parents drink and you know, he finds their uh, bottle of liquor they had hit and he just starts chugging it. You know, just wants to die. Or he starts about doggone, yeah, I want to die, but I'm going to kill a lot of people first and go start shooting up the damn scoop. Not, so disappointment is good. It's good for kids to be disappointed. It's good for them to work hard, do their best, and not get a damn trophy. And to be disappointed because that makes them work even harder the next time. Or the ones that don't work hard, don't try, they get a trophy. They go through all through life thinking, oh, life is just a damn cake. Well, hell, I'm riding a gravy train on biscuit wheels around here. Then they get out in the real world and they can't take it. There ain't no participation trophies. You can't go to work and do a slap ass job and expect to get a full week's pay. No, you get a a week's pay with a damn pink slip in it. And then they fail and then look for people to blame. Because it's their fault. Well actually, it's kind of all leads back to the Democrats. That's who I blame. That's who I blame for all of this that I'm talking about. The next thing that uh, Don, I see wrong, look, turn on TV. Turn on TV, flip through each channel and watch it for about 10 minutes each channel. You're going to see <clears throat> either some type of commercial, some show being advertised, or you're going to see some sitcom where you have got two men raising the family. You're going to see a commercial about two dads going out on a date and got a babysitter and talking to the babysitter and asked, are you a great babysitter? And she, oh, I'm okay. And they said, but you're watching our kids. Our kids. And it's two men. Alright? Or you gonna see some little feller in the daggum hospital having surgery done. The, my first thought, dang them, that feller must got stoned by a bull. My 
might have been in the back of a car wreck. Yes, sir. No, uh-uh. That little fella, when he was born, when he was little, he kept putting on mama and daddy, or mama's clothing. Every time daddy come home, oh, he's in mama's clothing. Mama, I don't know what to do. I can't keep him from putting on makeup and women's clothes. Well, have you tried a leather belt across that ass? That would have stopped it. You know what they do? They embrace it. They encourage it. And now, the little feller is going in the hospital to get his wiener cut off. Right, now, now, this ain't the first one. You know, we had a dog on, uh, 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 what was that, uh, Jenner feller going in and get his wiener cut off. Yeah. Then they label him a hero. Oh, he's a hero inspiration to us all. Ain't no damn inspiration to me. <laughs> I ain't a damn fruitcake. I can think of a million things I'd rather do than go and pay some doctors to get my wiener off. Well, I think I'd, you know, hell, I'm 250 pounds. Yeah, maybe suck some of the damn fat out of me. There you go, and that might be a little something. Or maybe go in there and, you know, fix some of the beat up and broken down bones and shit from all the bar fights and dirt bite wrecks and all I've been in. You know, that'll be something. Oh, I could go on and on a long list. Hell, buy a new hunting gun. Hell, or just buy a new gun, period. Buy a new truck. Wash my truck. Cut the grass. Man, I'm thinking about a bunch of things I'd rather do than go get my wiener cut off. But I tell them folks what, all them idiots out there that want their wiener cut off, it's very simple. You ain't got to pay no doctor's dick. Find your girl that likes you, make sure she has this issue. Alright? Find a girl that you know, you know she likes you. But she's got a sister too. So start dating that girl's sister. Alright? And then, after y'all dated a while, you know, have your girlfriend coming over, but yeah, have her sister in there in the bed with you. Alright? Be drunk or good around. Now, now you want to be drunk for this. Alright? Be sure to get caught. Alright? And then, you get real drunk and just pass out. When you wake up, I can almost guarantee you that wiener will be gone. And then, hell, you don't pay no doctor no expensive medical bills. Oh, well, take care of the problem. It don't make sense, folks. Everybody wants to just give trophies away. Wants to push all this LGBTQXYZ whatever shit on our youth. They're brainwashing the kids is what they're doing. <clears throat> oh, kids, uh, you know, oh, no, kids can't be around guns. Nope, that's why they took off uh, Yo 70 Sam and Elmer Fudd. That's why they took them off the TV, you know, Yo 70 Sam is a I'm going to root and toot and rebel. We're going to kill that Yankee rabbit. Yes, sir. You know, oh, no, we can't have that. You know, that's racism right there. Uh, and, and kids don't need to see guns. They don't need to be influenced by guns. What about Amber Foot? Oh, no, he, he's a hunter. Uh, well, we, we can't have hunt, hunting. Well, um, that's just morally wrong. We don't need to teach kids about hunting. Uh, well, oh, Tom and Jerry. What about Tom and Jerry? That'd be a good card. Oh, no, that, that's too violent. All right, we, we don't want to introduce kids to violence. Okay. So you don't want to introduce them to gun or violence over doggone cartoons, but you want to introduce them to some little feller wanting to turn into a woman and getting his wiener cut off? What the hell's wrong with y'all folks? Yeah, I'm saying y'all, because I don't teach that shit at my house. If I ever came inside and that crap was on my television, I would shoot my damn TV. I damn sure would. In a heartbeat. Don't make no sense. <laughs> Can't teach kids about guns. Well, too bad. Because guess what? I teach them all about guns. Matter of fact, got a 12 year old. He's got three or four guns of his own. Carries mine all the time. Carries a pistol with him. Yeah, kid, we ain't gonna be no victims around here. Uh-uh. 
dog wrong. Uh, somebody posted a video or a picture of their seven-year-old girl shooting her little 22 rifle a few weeks ago. I think I think of some type of singer or something. And the dog on the left, the liberals had a fit. <coughs> Well, they came back and said, you know, don't worry about what I do with my kid. You know, mind your own damn business. I don't, I don't really know who the person was, but hats off to you. Right? And how come it ain't, all of a sudden, it ain't cool or in trend to wear breeches that actually fit you? I am yet to see a kid to wear pants they actually fit them either the real baggy falling off of them halfway down the knees <coughs> or they're two sizes too small and they call them skinny jeans i call them queer jeans what i call them but you know that's funny we need to go back to the old days folks need to take all these damn cell phones all this Wi-Fi, all this Twitter, the chat snaps, the Instagrams, all that when they, you know, make the kids take a break from that, folks. Get them out in the woods, get them out in the yard. You know, get them outside doing something. Take them out to build a damn TP or something with, you know, just stuff out the woods. Now teach them how to build a fire. Teach them how to build a fire and cook outside. Cook a meal outside. Hell, have s'mores outside one night with them. Around a campfire. Teach them how to hunt. Fish. Plant a garden. Teach them how to use tools. You know, and how not to depend on other people to hold their hand. That is the main problem, folks. I'm telling you. Till we get back to that, we're gonna lose our kids. We're gonna, I mean, hell, boys are wanting to become women. Girls are wanting to become men. You no, know, can't teach them about guns. They're all time in school shooting and they're trying to blame the guns and take our guns from us. Folks, you better wake up. You better realize what's on that damn TV. You better realize what's on that music the kids are listening to and what they're doing on them cell phones, especially when they stay locked in the room all the time. Start whipping some kids' asses when they act up and make them start spending family time together. Yeah, on that. Remember, family time is time well spent. Y'all have a good one. Yee, yee. Yee, yee.